Today, I will be reading Me and My Dad, featuring Max and Goofy. The author is Disney. One day, me and my dad went to the beach. I wanted to bring fins and snorkels and surfboards. If you make a list, you won't forget anything. Max, my dad said, but I didn't need a list because I am very good at remembering. I loaded up the car with everything. Towels and umbrellas and beach chairs and masks. Everything. Just as soon as we got on the highway, I heard the thump it. It was not a good sound. My dad said I shouldn't worry. It was only a flat tire. What do we do now? I asked. I was worried because I'd taken out the spare tire and all that junk to make room for the important beach stuff. No problem, Maxie. Ha 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 ha, laughed my dad. Ooh, ooh. We just changed the tire. Luckily, I put back the things we need before we left home. So dad jacked up the car. It was a good thing I was there because the car started to roll. Dad, I hollered. You should put some rocks under the tires, right? Was I glad I ever saw that? I got a big rock and put it under the back tire. He said, thanks, Max. You're a great helper. Now help me tighten these lug nuts and then we're off. It didn't take long after that to get to the beach. We unloaded all the stuff and set up the umbrellas, beach chairs, and towels. My dad said, hand me the suntan lotion, Maxie. That's when I remembered that I'd forgotten to bring any. You were right about that list, Dad, I said. Don't worry, son, said my dad. We'll just buy some before we go in the water. So me and my dad went to the little food stand. We got a few extra things to eat, too. Oh, oh. it was lucky that I went with him because he forgot his money. Even dad forgot. Then me and my dad put on our mask and went snorkeling. We saw all kinds of fish and shells and seaweed. I told dad the names of everything. I know all that stuff because I learned it in school. Look at this little fellow, said my dad. It was the cutest little baby seahorse. Later, we found a tide pool full of fish and things. My dad put some clams in the bucket. I picked up a shell that was walking on the sand. Me and my dad laughed at the funny little hermit crab living inside. When we looked for more shell houses, we found a bunch. Oh, shuggy duck. Soon I got cold and hungry too. Me and my dad had lunch. It's a good thing you brought all this food, I told him. Being at the beach makes a guy really hungry. Whoa, look at that sandwich. Being at the beach makes a guy really sleepy, too, said my dad. I wasn't sleepy, but I decided to let him rest because parents get tired easily. After dad's nap, I showed him how to ride a surfboard. Just hold on until a wave comes, I said. Then kick and paddle as hard as you can. Pretty soon a big wave came. I jumped on my board and yelled, go now, dad. After I'd given dad a lot of lessons, he started to get the hang of it. Wow, this is great, Max, he called out as he caught his second wave. Way to go, dad, I hollered back. You sure are good at this. Me and my dad built a sandcastle. I bet it was the biggest sandcastle the world has ever seen. The trouble was the tide came in. Me and my dad dug trenches and built walls. But the waves knocked our castle down anyway. My dad was really upset. I told him, it's okay, dad. We can always build another one. At last, it was time to go home. You taught me a lot today, Maxie, about surfing and everything. We sure had a great time together, said my dad. And he was right. Me and my dad are really happy to have each other. The end. Oh.